As we remember the life of Jean, we stand and sing together number 826 in our hymnals. Number 826. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the saints of God say amen. amen. It's important that we remember at times like this who we are and whose we are. We greet God as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Words will only get us so far. Signs and symbols point to just beyond our five senses. And so as we come to an out-of-the-way place on a Monday morning, mindful that we all must pass this way, we surround ourselves with song, signs, and symbols. Jean was a member here. She understood signs and symbols in her journey. One of the signs and symbols that we use is that of the Easter candle, the Christ candle. May your word be a lamp unto my feet. Jean was a praying fool. She knew her prayers and she knew scripture as she would walk with God's saints who are struggling throughout her days as a worker with HUD. She understood God's little ones. Another sign and symbol that we use 
is that of, well, let me take you back. We understand the communion of saints, those visible here, and those who are gone on. Back in 1947, in a different place, in a different space, in a church, Jean's parents brought her to church to have her baptized. There was a different cloud of witnesses then at that time. We are the cloud of witnesses at this time in 2021, lifting her up and letting her go to God so she can put a good word in for us. Amen? Amen. And so in terms of the sign and the symbol of the holy water, symbolizing that in baptism, we go down into the waters, die to the old self, and as St. Paul would say, rise new in Jesus Christ. But the water also represents tears during our lifetime of joy and sorrow. And Jean faced many of them. But she walked with the Lord as some of us can attest to. It wasn't an easy walk. Can I get an amen? amen? But she walked with the Lord. So at this time, to help me with the sprinkling of the holy water, I'm going to ask her friend Mary Ann and her husband Roger to come up and help. As God's kids, we all learn from Scripture. We all know the Bible. As sign and symbol in our liturgy, we have readings from Scripture. At this time, could we have our first reader? A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. God has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God to comfort all who mourn, to place on those who mourn in Zion a crown of jewels instead of ashes, to give them oil of gladness in place of mourning, a glorious mantle instead of a listless spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, how will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither through death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor present things, nor future things, nor power, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lord, beyond my thoughts. Lord, beyond my lips. Lord, live in my heart. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare for you, I will come back and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. Thomas said to Jesus, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, 
and life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for showing up. At different times during Jean's journey through life, we met her. We have different ages and stages where we walked with her. And we could all tell stories. I came here in 2014. And I met Jean. She was struggling with her health even before I got here. But it was during my time here when I would go to visit her at different hospitals, rehab centers, that I realized how inadequate some saints make you feel when you don't know how to help them. God gives each of us at different times in our journey different ways to pull out of others kindness, charity, mercy, forgiveness. It was difficult to be with Jean because I didn't know how to help her. She who spent her life in her job at HUD helping others. But she taught me much in understanding that sometimes to be around one of God's special ones, it makes you uncomfortable. It made me uncomfortable. Because I realized how inadequate I was as I attempted to walk with her. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. I used to visit Jean at her home, but I would not go in. Just knock on the door and step back. She was always so gracious. And I just wanted to cut the meeting short because It was difficult to stand there and realize she's turning towards God. She's going home, and there's not a damn thing I can do to help her. At different times in our lives, we all have to stand at the foot of the cross with friends and loved ones and realize God's got this one. When I was able to visit with her at the hospice house at North Kansas City, all I could do was say, Jean, get on to heaven, will you? And put a good word in for us. That's what saints do. They put a good word in. They intercede for us.
as we continue our journey. Let us pray and lift up others that we know are turning towards heaven. Let us not shy away and feel inadequate, but let us thank God for those who come into our lives, make us feel uncomfortable and inadequate, but know that it's going to be okay eventually. So, do not let your hearts be troubled. Jean is standing there at the gate with her checklist, making sure all your paperwork is done properly. <laughs> she will escort us into one of the many dwelling places God has for us. Amen? Amen. We stand and pray. We come before the Lord with our prayers and our petitions. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We lift up in prayer this day the life of Jean, who in baptism was made a daughter of God. May she now receive from Christ the crown of eternal glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the many who give their entire lives to bring about social change, to improve the lives of the disenfranchised and refugees. For those who work for HUD, as Jean did, assisting with improving the living conditions of those in need. May their labors not be in vain. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jean was filled with the love of Jesus and knew the Holy Spirit very well. She also marched to her own drummer. She loved her church family and knew she was loved by God. May those who feel alone and afraid be given the strength and courage that Jean had to face the challenges of daily living. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, especially for Janet and Herman Stemmerman, Jean's parents. May they welcome Jean into the heavenly Jerusalem where there is no more pain or anxiety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jean had an uncanny ability for trivia and contributed greatly to our parish trivia night. For each of us who knew Jean in many other ways as well, as a co-worker, a prayer partner, a choir member, a small group participant, and an advocate for those in need. May we also grow in the ability to share our gifts with those who need it most. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all cancer survivors and for all frontline healthcare workers, and for those who care for the sick and suffering, especially those who cared for Jean during her illnesses. May they be blessed 100-fold for their service to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work with animals and care for them, as Jean loved her pets and was concerned about their well-being, May all of God's creatures be treasured and cared for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Let hear our prayer. For the people of El Salvador who were dear to Jean's heart, 
for our parish college students who benefited from Jean's donations for their college care packages over the years, for the many recipients at Bishop Sullivan Center and other helping organization to which Jean gave freely. May we be inspired by Jean's great witness of love for God and neighbor. We pray to the Lord. God, thank you for your arms that wrap around us and hold us. Thank you for lifting us when we fall. Hear our prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. At this time, we move from the first half of our Mass, the Liturgy of the Word, to the Liturgy of the Eucharist of setting the altar table. Mary Ann and Roger will bring forward the gifts of bread and wine, which will be consecrated to become the body and blood. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands hath made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord God, wash away our iniquities. Cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant to us, O God, a heart renewed. Recreate in us your own spirit, Lord. Look with favor, O God, upon your servant, Jean, for whom we offer your sacrifice of praise, humbly asking that, reconciled with you, she may merit everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father. For it is at your summons that we come to birth by your will, that we are governed, and at your command, we return from which we came. And when you give the sign, we have been redeemed by the death of your Son, 
we shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so we join the angels and saints in song. Please kneel or be seated. God, you are holy. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, Jesus took bread and gave you thanks, Father. Broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took chalice. Again, he gave you praise and thanks, Father gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again We celebrate the memorial of his passion, death, and resurrection. And we offer you, God our Father, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us, held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church gathered here and all over your world. Help us to grow in charity together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, all the clergy and all your people. God, our Father, remember Jean, your servant, whom you have called home. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. 
God, our Father, remember all of our brothers and sisters who have died. All who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, welcome them home into the light of your presence. And thank you, God, for having mercy on us. And we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and saints, especially St. Jean, we too may merit eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we stand, and together we pray that prayer that Jesus taught us. Whose Father? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. Keep us free from sin. Protect us from daily anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. We don't know the day. We don't know the hour. Tomorrow is not promised, but we're here today. Ask God to bless that saint on your left. Ask God to bless that saint on your right. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit.
please kneel or be seated. As I lift high the body and blood of Jesus Christ, I invite all of us to look upon Jesus, believe in his real presence, invite him into our hearts, pray this prayer as if it were the last prayer of our lives. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold Jesus, who takes away the sin of the world and heals us. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
What are you thankful for? How is God blessing you? Close your eyes for a quick second. See yourself walking with God. Turn to God and simply say, God, I want to thank you for. Take a quiet moment. Amen. Amen. One final sign and symbol that we use is that of we reach all the way back to the Old Testament to the temple where there was the use of the incense. May our prayers rise like incense before the Lord. At this time, we use the incense signifying that our prayers are rising for Jean to the Lord. Faith doesn't always take you out of the problem. Faith takes you through the problem. Faith doesn't always take away the pain. Faith gives you the ability to handle the pain. Faith doesn't always take you out of the storm. Faith calms you down in the midst of the storm. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. And God does bless us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass continues. Go in peace. Amen. Thanks be to God.